Amy Graham from New Lotto. Coming from New Lotto checkpoint at the Iditarod. I'm not sure what day it is. Is, is it Monday? I have no idea. I have special guest Didi Genro with me uh, here at New Lotto checkpoint. And Didi, I wanted to ask you real quick, how is it going for you in the race? Well, um, so far. For me personally, I am meeting my personal goal, which was to enjoy the dogs and enjoy myself, and to do a good job of dog care and, you know, um, cause the, all but four of these dogs have never been raced before. So, you know, it's important that they, I'm kind of like I'm starting a new team. They're not young. They're like three and four, but because of everything that's been going on in my life, you know, yeah, they haven't been raced and worked with as much. So it, oh, they're inexperienced. Uh -huh. Um, and, you know, that part is going good. I don't, I'm not really in a love affair with super cold weather. <laughs> I never dreamed of being a Yukon Quest, you know. Right. Uh, a veteran, but this is, this, the, the temperatures have been a little intense. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, uh, Sally, where are we going? <laughs> So, I, you know, competitively, I like to not even look at the numbers because if you measure by the numbers, mm -hmm. it certainly doesn't look like a very good race. Oh. You know, I, uh, th that particular number in front of your name is right. sometimes the way you even evaluate yourself. And that's, uh, that's not, you know, that's not accurate. And yet, in something that's a competition, you know, you can't help but look at that and say, oh dear, you know, I'm, I'm sliding backwards. But I'll tell you one thing that is indicative of um, how really good a lot of kennels and a lot of dog teams are. Oh, you right. know, dog care is good, their breeding program is good, their understanding of the competition is good, you know, so that's certainly a lot different than it was 40 years ago when I started. <laughs> wow, has it been that long? 35 years on the trail. Congratulations, that's a long time. Well, like, I've seen a that's lot of cool. Changes mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of good things. I mean, you know, like even when the race rules were changed for us to do corralling. Uh -huh. Boy, there was a lot of grumbling, and I was one of them. Because <laughs> our host families are phenomenal. Right. Can you imagine yeah. how burnt out this village would be, any village would be, after 45 years yeah. of having 70 mushers? Yep, yep, yep. I mean, <laughs> now you, last time I, I talked to you last year, um, you were about to do a marathon. Did you do that marathon? I did. How, I how did was Boston. that for you? Um, oh, my was, God. Yeah, I did Boston three weeks after I finished the Iditarod. Ah. And um, I did it in five hours and two minutes. Congratulations! So That's it, phenomenal. It's actually really good, yeah. considering this is how I trained. Right? I had I didn't have an opportunity to run any more than eight continuous miles between then, you know, and the race, and uh, it was pretty intimidating. But um, it was yeah, it was one of those things that I don't know if I'll ever do again. <laughs> But I'm so glad wow, to that's... be able to have these unique opportunities, you know. Yeah, that's like, pretty impressive, wow. too, though. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, well, I'll let you get back to your work. It looks like you're about to you're about to set off here yes, pretty soon. I am. Oh, my I'm kids were sure. really excited to, that they saw you. And they, they, a couple of them really want to see you some more, but uh, I think we got to get off to, to school, and you got to get off down the trail. Checkpoint Luato. My name's Amy Graham. Thank you.